Here we go again, YouTubers. It is I, Hell Gear, and I want to take this opportunity to talk about and recap the Samba Dragon event that happened over the weekend. So, as always, if you agree with or disagree with anything that I may have to say, I encourage you to please share your points on this issue in the comments section below, as well as your experiences to share in the comments section below. So, when I was given that wonderful little update by Merge Dragon social media talking about the upcoming dragon, Ironically, they did an interesting take. The announcement didn't really show the Samba Dragon reminding everyone to update their game. It actually showed off the Tertiary Dragon, the Jester Dragon. Then we got to see the Samba Dragon a bit later on. Now, to those of you who are wondering about Samba, the whole purpose of this particular dragon was to celebrate Mardi Gras, which Mardi Gras is its a really colorful, festive party. Most of which are celebrated on Mardi Gras is on Fat Tuesday, which is tomorrow, actually. So, with tomorrow being Fat Tuesday, and a lot of dance and cultural things going on, I want to simply wish that everyone who is going to be partying, please party safe and sound. Now, Carnival is very popular in multiple places, and in Dragonia, Carnival was difficult. The island itself Let's and we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, the field of play here. The first thing I noticed is the really huge area of key fog in the upper left side of the screen. I'm sure you guys saw that. And when I looked at that, when I panned out from the map, I noticed two things right off the bat. Actually, three things. The number one thing I noticed off the bat was this huge area of fog. And I'm like, wow, that's a lot of key fog to unlock for a very big area. And then when you actually unlock this area, it's a bunch of small fragmented islands. Another thing, which, which goes into number two that I've noticed, is the main event island itself. It is... Like I said, with these fog pieces that were revealed, it was fragmented. You know, the build for this particular Dragon's event, as far as the island is concerned, was very tough terrain to navigate. You had a chunk of one particular piece near you, and a lot of the area was just pieced off. There were there wasn't really anywhere good to set up for farming out charms to get the tears. You know, this was my worst showing of dragon events, mainly due to the fact that it was all over the place. Well, it wasn't really all over the place. The fragmented islands were but there wasn't really solid ground to set up an area and then charm farm. And that leads to the next one. You really had to put in a lot of heal time for everything that went on. One thing I'm finding out is that when it comes to the generators for charms, it's beginning to punish players for not merging five now. And even when you do merge five, just like with the Passion Dragon event that happened, you end up with a level three and a level two. So, again, it's unbalanced on farming out charms. 
to make matters worse, this event did something completely new. The very things that you're supposed to harvest charms for take up two tiles, which re is represented by a parade float. Now, to those of you who don't know, in Carnival, they essentially have a party. All these parade floats are going down the main street. There's lots of skin exposed. There's lots of shimming of hips and dancing. Goes with the territory, right? But the feel of having to heal two spots just to get the very item you need to farm for charms can, and I can't say just for me, but for me, it threw me off guard. And it threw me off guard in a bad way because as I'm forming these first ones, because I didn't think it would be what I needed to farm the charms, I'm like, wait. I got a farm from this? Oh, I got to heal two spots. So, that threw me off guard. You know, it's the first time you've actually had to take a spawn that took up two tiles to heal up. And this also addresses a problem. Normally, when we have these events, the farming spawn is one tile. But with the two tiles, and you have to do this for multiple charm spot or charm farming spawns, you have to put in more heal time. And there were the 5,000 heals early on in the map. I don't know if anybody else noticed this, but that was one thing I saw how the, the charm farms were early on at five racks. That was not really to my liking. Actually, that sucked. It's not even about being to the liking or not. It sucked. You know. Why is it that when you have an area that takes a lot of healing time to get through, it's it really makes you strain your resources. I don't understand that. Now let's talk about the dragons themselves and oh that's interesting. For these dragons they did a first in the dragon book and here's how it works. Actually no it's a, it's a second. Normally when we get an event dragon and you get it in the dragon book the tertiary dragon egg is next to the main event dragon egg but for the deer and turtle dragon plus this one's the samba dragon and jester dragon the eggs aren't next to each other in fact the samba dragon egg is between two of the five baby dragon eggs and its tertiary dragon egg, the jester dragon, is next to the turtle dragon egg. Now, let's talk a little bit about the lore of these dragons. How many of you guys actually read the lore on these eggs? If you have, it says that the samba dragon egg is the egg of a dragon that likes to dance. But what gets me is the jester dragon egg. And I want to read this off to you. The description for the jester dragon egg says, and we we won't get this description in the egg um, shop because the nest of the jester dragon egg should be available upon this update. Granted, you have 50 stars cleared overall, but the jester dragon egg says this, and I pulled it up from the wiki. The egg of a dragon from a historic royal palace. And I'll be honest with you, this egg looks really cool. It looks blinged out for Mardi Gras as a tertiary dragon. But historic royal palace. You know, 
oftentimes I think about the lore of these dragons, but when I read this description, what went into my head was the previous event, how you have the Passion Dragon and the King of Hearts Dragon. You know, kings and queens usually have a royal court jester to amuse them. And I'm thinking, well, maybe this tertiary, in light of it being the tertiary of a dancing dragon, has some royalty behind it. Perhaps the same um, dynasty as the King of Hearts dragon may have had something to do with the Jester dragon at some point. We'll never know. We don't have like a real lore or story based feel to merge dragons, but that's the sense that I've been getting about this egg. And the egg designs look really cool, especially the Samba dragon egg. And if you notice during the event of the Samba dragon egg, how it had that really shiny like. Those weird little fake beads that look like diamonds that you can get in the little toy um, toy machines in certain stores for 25 cents. You know, the scales of both the Samba and the um, Jester Dragon almost seem like, um, what is that, the disco ball? Or like rhinestone or something like that. Because the scales remind me of, of that. And they put a lot of detail into the Jester Dragon egg. You know, I had one of my friends show me the Jester Dragon egg. And like the Samba Dragon egg where it had that nice little glow around the shell. The Jester Dragon egg has that glow around the shell too. And you can notice these little like scales on it. Kind of like how, again, rhinestone. For something that rocks a Joker hat and has bling around the egg. That definitely must have been a very hard thing to lay for female jester dragons. <laughs> all in all, this was a terrible setup for the island. With things being fragmented all over the place, 5,000 heals coming early, and you had to essentially spend twice as much life to free the spawn to farm charm. Not an ideal thing for an event. Yeah, that was just bad. Hopefully when the next event shows up, we don't have to deal with the two item charm farm spawn. Well, two item, the two tile charm farm spawn. Because that, that's horrible. And that's all I'm going to say about this particular event. Thank you for hearing me out. Again, if you agree or disagree, let me know in the comment section below. Share your experiences in the comments section below. But for now, I take my goose from the oven because I'm done. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.